And here we are at the Team Valley. Lovely place. Lovely. Yeah, I'm going to go for a McDonald's. I'm picking Denise up from work. Hi. Hi. Then we're going to go and see Buddy. Well, we're going for food first, then we're going to go and see Buddy. Yes. Yeah. Go and spend some time with the child. I've still got myself little <laughs> thing for <him. laughs> Dog tag. Yeah, it's got two addresses on, so. Uh, so here we go. Mackey days. This way. Uh, oh, here we are. Milkshake, yeah. Coke. Of the diet. Coke, and not the good, not, not the good kind. <laughs> nah. <laughs> uh, not all, today. It's all changing McDonald's these days, all the automated stuff and living. Place your own order. We even got table service, eh? Because the lazy, oh definitely, there's a big queue. <laughs> I'm not going to stand in that. I want to sit out. Mm. Yeah, very, very nice. I like the way McDonald's has gone these days. Very good. And for Denise, yeah, milkshake is nice and thick. The way she likes it. Oh, here's Denise. Where we come from? Me or where? where are we? It's the Grange, isn't it? Used to be called that. Used to be, I think the, the Grange, I think it's called. It's in Sunderland. It's yes. nice. Good day at work. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so, I'm going to check out the food. Looks nice. I'll get something with chips for me. It's quite a nice place. <laughs> Must be the garlic prawns or something. We are on our way home now. Excuse the dirty windscreen. Uh, we're on our way home now. I've had a lovely time. I don't know if you can see, Denise. I can nearly see it. Yeah, just. Yeah, I've had a good time. Uh, oh, little buddy is so adorable. He's cute. He is. <laughs> Can't wait to see him again. And uh, I get home and settle down, watch a bit of TV, then go to sleep for work tomorrow. Apparently, it doesn't really look like it at the moment, but apparently we're going to get snow tonight. And heavy snow. We've seen one snow plough blasting along the road, but no idea where he's going. He might be going up into the, into the countryside, I don't know. But we'll wait and see. Well, we're back at home. All settled in bed. I'm going to just about to watch a... YouTube video from vidIQ about the big changes that YouTube haven't just announced which uh, I know a lot of people are going to be unhappy about me included um Mark Corn as well he's uh, basically what's happened everybody's been sent an email saying uh well everybody who's been hit by this has sent an email saying as your channel does not reach 4,000 views a year or a thousand subs sorry 4,000 views a year and a thousand subs not all it's and uh, your monetization and everything will cease in 30 days I've got my old channel coffee in a slice of life I've had monetized since 2000 and when did I start vlogging was it 2006 when when was that first video with her? Something like that. Yeah, it was about two thousand and six, probably eleven years ago. Like, um, that's been monetized for a long, long time. Fair enough. I don't always use it now, but it's still monetized. The odd video goes on it, um, and they've said no, that's gone now. That's uh, demonetized. That I can sort of live with, even though it's it's a bit disappointing because that that was my first channel, and you know the sort. Of, pretty much in a way of reneging on what the original agreement was uh, I think they should be saying from now on any new channels this is what's going to be the policy so they're changing the goalposts you know 
Um, <clears throat> but my main worry is this channel. Yeah, I hit the 4,000 views per annum. I don't, there's no problem doing that. But I don't have a 1,000 subscribers. Which is what I'm worried about. I'm so close to it. But as I'm looking now, 872. Uh, I need to get to that 1,000. <laughs> so I don't lose my monetization. You know, yeah, it's not about... It's, it's, I don't do YouTube for the, the money. I do because I enjoy doing it. I, I like to make new friends and do the lives and the community side of it and all that. But it is nice to get a little bit something back off them, which like might help to buy a tripod or something like that every now and then, or, or some something, you know. Um. So it is nice to get a little something back, even though I'll, I'll never ever get like what the big YouTubers get. But you know, that's gonna go. Unless I can get to a thousand subs in the next 30 days. I haven't had a notification for this channel yet, but it will come. I'm expecting it any time now because I don't have a thousand subscribers. So, what to do? Uh, yeah, I don't know what to do. The, if anybody, I'll, I'll go against everything I believe in because I don't normally believe in doing this. But if anybody can help us out, give us a shout out to help us get to a thousand. That would be absolutely fantastic. I hate asking for shout outs, but this time I've got a reason. So, uh, but yeah, like, let us know if you're affected by this down below. I know there's a lot of our viewers don't that don't use the YouTube channel. Uh, they don't make vlogs, uh, they just use the YouTube, YouTube channel for watching things, you know, whether vlogs or music videos or whatever. Um, but some of it, some of our subscribers do actually do vlogging. Uh, so, yeah, stick your comments down below on what you think about this. Uh, uh, if it's affecting you or if you've heard about it and what your thoughts are on it. Um, but like I said, it should, if they're going to make changes like this, it should be for new channels starting from now not for old ones who have had an agreement with youtube for god knows how long and like youtube just decided to change the goal posts you know so uh let me channels in good standing i've never had a copyright strike or anything on this channel um so i do everything my end to like uh, be a good creator and you know so would youtube go and change the rules but yeah any help anybody can give us be fantastic. I hate asking, but you know. Uh, but yeah, back to normal things. We're back. The meal was absolutely lovely, like I was saying. Uh, I had a suet, a suet pudding thing with steak and everything inside, with chips and mashed potatoes and peas. I took a photo, but the peas had already gone. <laughs> And you had a mixed grill, didn't you? Oh, I did. I had like a prawn garlic starter. Um, oh, yes, I had the that was potato lovely. skins. Um, and the mixed grill, but I did have chips and some tomato sauce, which I haven't had for absolutely ages. So. Good for you. You've got to live sometime, you yeah, know. Yeah, it was just a spur of the moment thing. Just so, ah, what the hell, you know, let's just go out for a change and yeah. enjoy the night. And we did. I had a really, really nice time. The men so, I didn't have to slave over a cooker. So. <laughs> you mean the slow cooker, darling? Oh, slow cooker. Slow I still got to prepare it and <laughs> half cook the mince and all that sort of thing, uh, you know. <laughs> but no, we did. We really enjoyed it. It's hard work it. watching a slow cooker, you know. It is, yes. Are you watching I mean, a kettle boil? Totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just um, come home, had a chat with Georgia, and yeah. um, she had an assessment today. Unfortunately, she did fail, but she can reset it. Just a couple of minor little it's things. Minor things, yeah. Some, some of, of them out, was out of her hands, really. Um, yeah. And that, but you know, she, these things happen. And yeah, she she knows now for when she resets it, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it wasn't anything major. It was just little things, but which need to be put right for the next time. Mm -hmm. Um, we're still very proud of her. I think she's doing really well. You know, yep. she's working a forty-hour week and. Sometimes it's uh, it's long hours all day on our feet, so yeah, I wouldn't like to do that. No, no, no. I'm, uh, no. 
I'm she's, sat down most of the day. She's, so. she's actually doing a lot better than I was expecting her to do. Because yeah. she's not used to being on her feet all the time and yeah. being in a working environment, you know. Mm-hmm. Like quite, for even, I know it's, I know it's a hairdresser's, or hairdresser's, hair sal- salon, stylist, whatever. But it's, it's quite stressful, isn't it? It's like oh, quite it high be. pressure. Yeah. can be for her, yeah. But she just gets on with it, you know, and mm. she's enjoying the money side of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, she's only on sort of like... Um, yeah, it's just an apprentice's... Uh, apprentice wage, yeah, but it's a lot more than what she's used to. Mm-hmm. She's got more spare money than us. Yeah. 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 So I'm still very, very proud of her. But yes. uh, she's just got to pass this assessment and move on type of thing, you know, and on mm-hmm. to the next thing. Yep, definitely. Uh-oh. Yeah, so... Mm-hmm. How did you find Buddy? I don't know if you've said... Oh. I absolutely loved him. <laughs> It don't get as wrong. Uh, that dog was absolutely gorgeous as yeah, well. Yeah, Coco um, was, yeah. Different dogs. But he's a totally different type of dog. Absolutely tiny. I was really shocked at how small he was. He's dead light as well. His little, oh, his little paws were no bigger than my fingers. Um, and that, and he just he took them pretty much straight away. He was a little bit unsure of you at first, because when you picked him up. I wanted to pick him up straight away and he like, growled at us. For, yeah, you know, but that, I mean. That's to be expected. Yeah, yeah, you know. but, uh, oh, lovely, really settled uh, with them and our family and that, you know, and yeah. it's, it's lovely to see us smiling and yeah. that uh, yeah. with, it, with the dog again. Yeah. So, just... And the family are dead down to earth, the, the great. You oh, know. I love that man. So you, could, you could just feel yeah. so settled there, you know, they, and make you feel so welcome. Yeah, yeah, had a nice cup of air and mm-hmm. bit of a chat. And... Good laugh. Yeah. And that's so, all. And thank you for dropping us back off at work for yeah. to put me car up. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> it was a good night. It was. I've enjoyed it. It was a nice change. I'll have to do it more often. Yeah. I think. And you, George, I missed out on seeing the dog. <laughs> yeah. The, but we didn't know she was coming home early as well. She didn't meet her friend, so she could have come with her. And that, yeah, but if, if she had told us, I would have, would have waited for her. Yeah. But. She'll see him soon. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be back doing pretty soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get a, little, a couple of presents for the, for, yeah. uh, for Buddy, and then yeah. we'll come back down. Yeah. And he's, he's got to visit the rendezvous at some point. Oh, hello. Yeah, we've, we've, I've always wanted to take a dog into the rendezvous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, I think we're just going to... Well, I'm going to go to sleep now. I'm shut that after the sleep I had last night. Go on, tell them. Five. Oh, the sleep on. I didn't really have last yeah. night. Normally it's her keeping me awake with a snoring and things like that. Yeah? Yeah. Go on, what happened last night? Because I, I took, I took my tablet for, to help us sleep. I took a tablet because I felt my legs starting to go a bit twitchy. And I thought, I'll take a tablet. Right. <laughs> but no, when he takes his tablet, he's pretty much out of it straight away. And because he was out of it, he wouldn't wake up and his legs were all over the place, kicking out and the bed was jumping and I just I just woke up every single time that he like moved and kicked and whatever, but he just wouldn't wake up. So I pretty much had a very restless night. Did you get any sleep? I probably got a, a little bit, but then I, obviously Franklin decided to like... No, sorry, Molly was in between my feet. Then Franklin moved from between me and Steve into between my kneecaps. <laughs> so I was pretty much like that, in bed. Couldn't move. Then I thought, I can't lie like this. So I turned on my side. So one of them went behind my knees. Then Costa came in the room and decided he wanted to be up. And there was a bit of a scrap on the bed. And this was at four o'clock in the morning. I know nothing about this. Oh, well. Then Franklin decided he wanted to just mess about doing all sorts of what rummaging about under the bed jumping on and off the furniture the windowsill back off running around and uh, yeah, but you know i got out of bed and then the cat followed us as soon as we went out the door and shut the door and went out back to bed out <laughs> i wish i used to have three cats yeah so you know maybe we shouldn't allow them on the bed but it's just a bit well yeah yeah <laughs> it wouldn't be any worse if i had four Yes, it would. You wouldn't. Because it all sleep on my side of the bed. Yeah, think of the company you've got. <laughs> they like little hot water bottles for you. <laughs> they do keep us warm. 
<laughs> yeah, so. So you think you'll sleep tonight? Oh, yes. You're going to put your teeth in? Oh, my hell. You're going to put your teeth in? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll sleep on the set then. Okay. You, you won't be happy about that in the morning. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, fun and games in the right household. And we're keeping our weight. Look, she's on go. Look at that Sorry. yawny face. That's what her yawny face looks like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the photo on Instagram today. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we're going to get going. I hope everybody's had a good uh, Steve's Day. And, yeah, we'll catch up with you very soon. Don't forget, put your comments below. Um, if, if you're affected by this demonetization thingy whatever it is and uh yeah i'll catch up with you very soon bye for now bye, bye.